Hello YouTube, welcome to the dojo, you're here with Samurai Man, and today we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 series, Wingnut slash Kirby Bat. This is Kirby Bat, but we all know this is supposed to be Wingnut. This is the current adaptation of Wingnut, and he looks cool. I really, as soon as I saw this in the show and the toy was announced, I was like, gotta catch it all. And uh, I am not disappointed. I really do think this is a great, nice little addition. It's very cool. There's just a lot of great molding and paint on it that it's just pulling off what they're going for in the show so well and to start off with he does come with a little mini bat because in the show I believe he can c communicate with bats I don't exactly remember but it's also a nice little nod to the original 1980s wingnut toy that came with a little partner that was a mosquito I think that's what they're going for I'm not 100% sure there you go. It's a nice little, uh, nice little accessory that didn't need to be added, but they decided to. You can see the giant bat hands, which are really awesome. I'll go over them in a sec. Are molded differently. This one's like, and this one's like, grip. So what you can do, what I do at least, is I pose them. There goes my phone. It's kind of awkward, but I do pose them holding the bat. Partially for storage, just so I don't lose it. And partially, just because I think it looks cool. I mean, it's kind of weird, you know, he's holding onto a bat. But, again, I don't want to lose it, so good storage. And it holds it very nice. It's not going anywhere. So let's talk about the articulation. His right arm molded into the side. That's unfortunate. Nothing. You're going to get nothing out of that. This badass looking big old left arm though has a little bit of elbow movement. And that's pretty much all you're going to get is a little bit of up movement. Not too much downward movement. And 360 but the bat's wings do get in the way. So yes. And then we have here these thighs that go outward and inward. And up kind of. It's really awkward but... You can kind of bring it up, kind of like a monkey hand. Looks like he's going to grab something, like an orangutan or something. The feet are molded in a specific position, so you do have to deal with that. But he can get something done, at least. My favorite, well, actually, first, head mold, head, bleh. His head does move. It's on a ball, but you can see he has a huge head. Like, it folds around a lot at the back and front. So it is, uh, it can be limiting. You know, you can get it to move side to side. You can't really get it to look up because of this giant brain thing he's got going on there. You can kind of get it to look down, which can look menacing, but I kind of just have it standard. So you can get what you need to out of it. Now, again, what I was trying to say is my favorite molding, I mean, bah, my favorite articulation are these bat wings. They're on ball joints on the back, so you can get a very nice range of movement. They are going to pose for you anywhere. You can bring it up, like he's getting ready to strike. You can have them kind of inward, like they're like making like a cape kind of look. And what I like to do is I kind of like them having an outward because what I think is they're meant to do is be supporting beams, like a tripod kind of for his legs. So you can see these these bottom pieces do kind of just sit, I sit them downward. And I kind of, sometimes I'll have them upward, just depends on the pose, you know, make it look more menacing. But I kind of like having it like that and that'll support him a lot better. And if you want to angle them in different ways, you know, it's up to you. So that's very cool. So very nice. The articulation's not too bad, you know. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind the limitations because he can get stuff out of it. The only thing I do mind is this arm. It's doing nothing. It's just holding his stomach. It's It It looks like he's missing an arm because it's just molded into the side. But this, at least you got three other arms, technically, that do move. So taking a closer look, he does look creepy and menacing, and it's perfect. I mean, look at that just vein just throbbing in his head and it goes all around the back of his head and it's just creepy and stuff because he is supposed to be based on Dr. Kirby O'Neill so he's just supposed to be scientist smart guy plus I think the mutagen news landed on its head and started from there downward so I don't know maybe that has something to do with it I'm assuming it's because he's a scientist but yes he has a giant cranium you see he still has his nice sideburns slash goatee I do like how they kept that I think that's you know kind of funny actually you can see he's got the very big also eyebrows you they're molded in very nicely got a little bit of shading on them so you can see that they're there and his nose is painted i like that so you can, it's it's prominent you know he's got a bat nose teeth are all sharp and pointy looking a little creepy his eyes are nicely done and painted up the left eye is a little painted weird but the right eye is fine and i don't mind it i didn't even notice it so i zoomed in so i do like that i like the ears i really love these ears how they're like bat wings that just looks really cool kind of reminds me of man bat honestly from batman that's the vibe i'm getting but cool I do like this also, this purple vein he's got going through his body. It, I don't know what it's for, but it looks cool. I don't know. It looks creepy and awesome and beautiful. I love this texture they got going on. Lots of bumps, look pimply bumps, boils and all that. Just adding on to the creepy effect of him. So cool. 
You can also see here on the wings there are some like linings like it's it's flesh kind of like kind of like wrinkly flesh. I do think it's very cool that these wings also are giant arms. That's just really awesome. That makes me think of like like maybe like gorilla arms. That's kind of what they're going for. Like he, he uses these prominently as his actual hands or something. And then these are just like his little arms that or whatever. So cool. He does have a fur texture to his orangey bits here. All this orange here's got a fur texture and tone to it. Very cool. So overall, I do think this is a really awesome figure. I love, look at these feet, these really creepy feet. Got nails and wrinkles and stuff. Very big. So cool. I do think this is a great figure. So here we have Kirby Wingbat paired up with Donatello, Battleshell, and April O'Neil. And you can see the size isn't too bad, you know. He could be bigger. He was pretty darn big in the show. I'm pretty sure he was way bigger than both of them. I'm pretty sure he just, like, picks her up out of ease and all that. So, yeah, again, scale's not perfect, but it's not too bad either. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, in the middle. It's in, I'd say it's in the middle. You can also see that while April does inherit her hair color from her dad, she most prominently gets all her other looks from her mother. You know, I'm not really seeing too much of a resemblance there. But they do have the same, you know, hair tone, too. Yeah, she definitely picked up a lot of her mom's looks. So overall, this figure is highly recommended. I was excited when they announced it. I was ex super excited when I saw it on the shelves. I mean, it just looks awesome. I love the cl giant claw wings. I love the color scheme. It really pops. I just love everything about it. So if you don't have this guy, I suggest you get him. If you're on the fence, get him. If you just think he looks awesome in the show, get him. I mean, this turtle line is really awesome. They got a lot of awesome throwbacks like this guy. He's based on Wingnut. Plus a lot of creative new characters like Squirrelanoid. There we go. I knew I'd pick one up. Squirrelanoid is a new fresh mutant. So, bam. Plus Fish Face and Dog Pound. I don't know how I didn't think of them first. But, yeah. A lot of fresh new ones plus some throwbacks to the old that are upgraded. So, cool. Anyways, guys. This has been Samurai Man. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Always good to hear from you guys. Fun to hear you support me and all that. As well as follow me on Tumblr at Mication, as well as Twitter at Mication, and Instagram at Mecha's Heart. So anyways, guys, take it easy. Have a great day. Good luck on finding these toys. And until next time, bye.